We mostly think of Outlook as a program that helps us manage email and calendar items, but it can also be used to send and receive text messages, just like on a phone or mobile device. This is a good option for those who prefer to use a full-size keyboard or just want to maintain a record of communications in Outlook. There are two ways to set up text messaging to work with Outlook 2010. With an Exchange Server 2010 account that connects to a Windows mobile device, or a third-party SMS provider that sends and receives messages on your behalf. We'll demonstrate how to configure a third-party provider in this clip. On the Home tab in the New group, click New Items, then Text Message SMS. If you see this box, it means that a text messaging account has not been established. Click Next to get started. The first step is to find a service provider. We can click the link for a listing of third-party SMS providers that are designed to work with Outlook 2010. In this example, we've already established our account and entered the service provider URL, user ID, and password. So I'll click OK to complete the setup. With our account established, let's send a text message. Under New Items, I'll click Text Message SMS, which opens a text message window. One of the advantages of texting through Outlook is it works like sending any other email message. For example, I can pull names from the address book, type out the message just like an email, get a preview of how it will look, and even insert emoticons just for fun. When you're ready, click Send. In addition to messaging, Outlook 2010 can be configured to send text notifications, calendar summaries, or even email forwarded as a text message to a mobile device. From the File tab, click Options, then Mobile. To set up notifications, click Mobile Reminder Settings. Check the box to have reminders sent to the listed mobile number. You can even specify which reminders. For example, when your name is the only one in the To box, or for items designated with a specific category. Click Calendar Summary Settings and check the box to have a calendar summary sent as a text to your mobile device. And finally, you can choose to have Outlook items forwarded as a text message, for example, meeting requests and updates, to make sure you're always up to date. So keep all your communications in one place, whether email or text messages, with Outlook 2010.